Now we're going to run through the pre-save setup and our best practices on getting the best results. Pre-saves are a great way to bring fans into your world. And when fans pre-save, you'll get access to their email address. So it's also a great way to build your email list in the process. Step one is to customize what your fans actually see when setting up the pre-save. So we recommend adding in all your info, maybe making a personal message to get fans brought into your world. Boom. You customize your pre-save however you want to. We recommend adding your Instagram, YouTube, or Spotify to the custom web page for the post pre-save redirect. This is where fans will be sent to after they pre-save for the first time successfully. We recommend enabling all of the boosts. These are things that help you collect your email addresses automatically. Fans will automatically follow you on Spotify when they pre-save and it grows your Spotify following. We also have a proprietary tool called Forever Saves, which lets fans actually automatically subscribe to pre-saving future releases. This way, you can get fans pre-saving one time and have them pre-saving every single time you drop a song without them having to do any additional work. So we kept that on. You can always add the UPC ISRC later on. Uh, you can skip that step when setting up. Set your release date. Maybe it's midnight on this date. Select the platforms you want fans to see. You can customize how they look and their positioning. Usually we recommend keeping all of them just so you can get full coverage across your fan base. And that's really it. What we've kind of just done is we set up the pre-save customization. We've set up our boosts so that we can automatically grow in the setup process. And when I hit finish right here, you'll see that Symphony gives you a custom link that you can start sharing around to have your fans start pre-saving super easily.